Gnosis is a spiritual doctrine associated with early Christianity, whose teachings are thought to have come from the original disciples of Lord Jesus Christ. Gnostics believe that humans are innately spiritual and have a spark of the divine within. Thus, one can know God directly through insights of the higher self. Gnostic teachings also highlight the temporary nature of earthly life. Understanding this can lead to a natural seeking of higher truth, which is ultimately beyond physical creation. Pistis Sophia, meaning faith wisdom or faith in the light, is a Gnostic scripture of teachings given by Lord Jesus Christ in the 11 years following his resurrection. After being lost for over 1,000 years, the Pistis Sophia manuscript was rediscovered in Egypt in the late 1700s. In this scripture, Lord Jesus Christ addresses his disciples regarding different aspects of heaven and the divine. The manuscript also identifies Pistis Sophia as a seeker in human form, symbolizing the soul that is yearning to reconnect with the higher self. In these teachings, Jesus also speaks of the treasury or treasury of light, which represents the attainment of heavenly reunion with the Divine. Today, we are honored to share with you excerpts from chapters 4 through 7 of Pistis Sophia. Chapter 4 Jesus Descends Again but the disciples sat together in fear, and were in exceedingly great agitation, and were afraid because of the great earthquake which took place, and they wept together, saying, What will then be? Perhaps the Saviour will destroy all regions? Thus saying, they wept together. While they then said this, and wept together, then on the ninth hour of the morrow, the heavens opened, and they saw Jesus descend, shining most exceedingly, and there was no measure for his light in which he was. For he shone more radiantly than at the hour when he had ascended to the heavens, so that men in the world cannot describe the light which was on him, and it shot forth light rays in great abundance, and there was no measure for its rays, and its light was not alike together but it was of diverse kind and of diverse type, some rays being more excellent than others, and the whole light consisted together. The Nature of His Glory It was of threefold kind, and the one kind was more excellent than the other, the second that in the midst was more excellent than the first which was below, and the third which was above them all, was more excellent than the two which were below. And the first glory which was placed below them all was like to the light which had come over Jesus before he had ascended into the heavens, and was like only itself in its light. And the three light modes were of diverse light kinds, and they were of diverse type, one being more excellent than the other. Chapter 5 Jesus Addresses His Disciples and it came to pass then, when the disciples saw this, that they feared exceedingly and were in agitation. Then Jesus, the compassionate and tender-hearted, when he saw his disciples that they were in great agitation, spoke with them, saying, Take courage, it is I, be not afraid. Chapter 6 It came to pass then, when the disciples had heard this word, that they said, Lord, if it be Thou, withdraw Thy light glory into Thyself, that we may be able to stand. Otherwise our eyes are darkened, and we are agitated, and the whole world also is in agitation, because of the great light which is about Thee. Then Jesus drew to Himself the glory of His light, and when this was done, all the disciples took courage, stepped forward to Jesus, fell down altogether, adored him, rejoicing in great joy, and said unto him, Rabbi, whither hast thou gone? Or what was thy ministry on which thou hast gone? Or wherefore rather 
were all these confusions and all the earthquakes which have taken place. He promises to tell his disciples all things. Then Jesus the Compassionate said unto them, Rejoice and exult from this hour on, for I have gone to the regions out of which I had come forth. From this day on then will I discourse with you in openness from the beginning of the truth unto its completion, and I will discourse with you face to face without similitude. From this hour on will I not hide anything from you of the mystery of the height and of that of the region of truth, for authority had been given me through the ineffable and through the first mystery of all mysteries to speak with you, from the beginning right up to the fullness, both from within without and from without within. Listen, therefore, that I may tell you all things. It came to pass, when I sat a little removed from you on the Mount of Olives, that I thought on the order of the ministry, for the sake of which I was sent, that it was completed, and that the last mystery, that is, the four-and-twentieth mystery from within without, those which are in the second space of the first mystery, in the orders of that space, had not yet sent me my vesture. It came to pass then, when I had known that the order of the ministry, for the sake of which I had come, was completed, and that that mystery had not yet sent me my vesture, which I had left behind in it until its time was completed. Thinking then this, I sat on the Mount of Olives, a little removed from you. Chapter 7 How the Vesture of Light Was Sent Unto Jesus It came to pass, when the sun rose in the east, thereafter then through the first mystery which existed from the beginning, on account of which the universe had arisen, out of which also I am myself now come, not in the time before my crucifixion, but now it came to pass through the command of that mystery that there should be sent me my light vesture, which it had given me from the beginning, and which I had left behind in the last mystery, that is, the four-and-twentieth mystery from within without, those which are in the orders of the second space of the first mystery. That vesture, then, I left behind in the last mystery, until the time should be completed to put it on, and I should begin to discourse with the race of men, and reveal unto them all, from the beginning of the truth to its completion, and discourse with them from the interiors of the interiors to the exteriors of the exteriors, and from the exteriors of the exteriors to the interiors of the interiors. Rejoice then, and exult, and rejoice more and more greatly, for to you it is given that I speak first with you, from the beginning of the truth to its completion. Of the souls of the disciples and their incarnation. For this cause have I chosen you, verily, from the beginning through the first mystery. Rejoice then, and exult, for when I set out for the world, I brought from the beginning with me twelve powers, as I have told you from the beginning, which I have taken from the twelve saviors of the treasury of the light, according to the command of the first mystery. These, then, I cast into the womb of your mothers when I came into the world, that is, those which are in your bodies today. For these powers have been given unto you before the whole world, because ye are they who will save the whole world, and that ye may be able to endure the threat of the rulers of the world, and the pains of the world and its dangers, and all its persecutions which the rulers of the height will bring upon you. For many times have I said unto you that I have brought the power in you out of the twelve saviors who are in the treasury of the light. For which cause I have said unto you indeed from the beginning that ye are not of the world, I also am not of it. For all men who are in the world have gotten their souls out of the power of the rulers of the years, or gods. But the power which is in you is from me. Your souls belong to the height. I have brought twelve powers of the twelve saviors of the treasury of the light, 
taking them out of the portion of my power which I did first receive. And when I had set forth for the world, I came into the midst of the rulers of the sphere, and had the form of Gabriel, the angel of the eons, gods, and the rulers of the eons, gods, did not know me, but they thought that I was the angel Gabriel. Cheerful viewers, we appreciate your company today on Words of Wisdom.